guys, it's Yanni here and I am back with another video. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about pricing your photography. This question was brought up by my little old me <laughs> when I first started in photography. Um, when I first started, it was one of the hardest decisions I had to make in my photography career. Especially going to client and they would just suddenly pop the question, so how much do you charge? And just little old me just sitting there thinking, I don't know, $10, $15. So this video will hopefully help you to prevent situations like that from happening in your photography career. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I start giving you my tips, I just would like to say that these tips are only based on my own experience. By no means, these are not the stamp, um, stamp on the stone tips and advice and the rules and regulations and the law in photography. Pretty much do whatever you want to do with your pricing, but I'm just telling you this based on my own experience. And I just would like to say as well that you should not be scared charging for your photography services. So if you think that you're really good and you're really talented and your photos are really out of the world amazing, go ahead, price $10,000 for one single photo. Um, because come to think of it, you should not be scared because clients are not only paying for your time and they're not only paying for your photos. They're also paying for your talent, creativity, camera equipment, camera gear, life insurance, Beyonce concert tickets, everything. So go ahead and just charge how much you think you should be charged. My first tip is have obviously have good quality photos that's given in all photography portfolio so when you're building your portfolio in the beginning just have good quality photos to show to your clients if you're going into engagement and wedding photography industry obviously you have to have those kind of photos to show your clients or else why would they hire you if you only have landscapes in your photos so what i would recommend is Ask your friends for portrait photography. Ask them to pose for you. Ask them to have photo shoot sessions. Rent a gown or you know what? Ask your friends who are coupled and ask them to pose for you. So ask them to do engagement photo shoot session even though they're not engaged. Just like a nice couple shot just to build on your portfolio. In addition to building your portfolio, I would also recommend offering free photography services in the beginning just to build your portfolio and to get your name out there. Um, that's pretty much how I started. I started as a volunteer photographing every single event I could think of and I don't know if you saw my previous video, the story time video on how I started in photography and how to make money in photography. I mentioned there that I went into photography not thinking that I could make money out of it. Money was not really my main goal why I went to photography. Going into photography was because it became my passion, it was it's my passion and I really love doing it. So money was just the second thing that came by doing photography. So that's what I would suggest for you guys. Offer free services, um, contact your friends if you think your friends are having birthday. Just contact them, hey would you like a photographer for your birthday? I would be happy to provide my photography services. After building your portfolio and after having different types of photos in your portfolio by offering free services, you, then you can start charging for your services. So let's say you can start, I don't know, engagement photo shoot, maybe you can start at $100. And then slowly after that, you can start charging the next couple for $150 or $200. You slowly go from there. And that's pretty much what I did. So I think I started with $150 for my first engagement photo, or I think it was $200. And then after that, I charged, I think, 250 and then 300 Don't jump from 200 all the way to 1000 right away because clients talk, people talk, okay? So the ne your next client might be the friend of your first client. So when they ask the first client, like, how much did he charge you? And then when they find out that it was only 200 and then you start charging them 1000 they're gonna run away for sure. Like, they might think that you're a scam. And after that, after you start building your clientele and your niche market, then you can start charging the real deal. Especially when you are thinking of making your photography as like a serious business and relying on your photography salary. Especially when you're relying on your photography salary, that's when you start charging the real money and the real services. And of course, 
only if you think that your photos are really really good enough and if your photos and creativity are really you know worth the money that you're charging so keep an eye out of that as well um, what I did for me was of course every single photographer who's starting in photography there's always that doubt that am I good enough are my photos good enough so what I did was every single photo shoot that I did I kept on uploading on Facebook and then I study the nature of people the response of the people so sometimes they would comment that they deeply love the photos they genuinely really love the photos then I think that okay so people like this kind of photos the market like this kind of photos so study your market as well so that's how I started and that's how I knew that people really love my photos that's how I learned how the market works just study by uploading on social media. So after building your portfolio, after offering free services, after charging small amounts, after gradually charging a little bit higher prices, then you can start charging for the real deal. Again, hopefully you are in photography because you first love it. I hope you're not into photography because you think you can make money out of it. Never, I don't know. I don't know, it's just, I think, I think it's just hard because photography is so saturated. I hope you're not into photography just because of the money because I don't think you will last. There's so much competition that I don't think you will last if you are in it for the money. So hopefully you're in it because you love it and it's your passion. So the last thing I would say in terms of pricing your photography is, um, let's say you're in wedding photography. I'm only gonna talk about wedding photography because <laughs> that's pretty much what I do mainly. So my tip for that is you can try to build packages in your wedding photography. So what I mean by that is, so for example, your package could be 1,500 with one photographer, um, unlimited photos, or I don't know, it's up to you, 500 photos you're gonna give to the bride and groom, um, engagement photo shoot included, I'll be there for eight hours, full service on the day of, and you know, by the way, I'm just throwing numbers, these are just examples, these are not my numbers, if you want my real numbers, email me down in the description box below we'll talk we'll talk so yeah you can start building packages that could be your first package the second package could be two photographers for I don't know two thousand dollars uh, full day service unlimited photos engagement photo shoot included or if you don't want the engagement photo shoot included you can charge engagement photo shoot extra so things like that or if you know a videographer, your friend, your close friend that you can trust and who is really good in videos, you can incorporate videos in your packages. So what? So you can do maybe package three could be two photographers, one videographer for, I don't know, let's say $4,000. So those are my three tips for you guys. So thumbs up if you like this kind of video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to get notification when I'm gonna upload next videos and I will link all my social media down below so feel free to see my work follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook everything and all that jazz and yeah I'll see you all next time